Hello and welcome. So here is a scenario that's actually quite common and uh, if I want to give you an example here, basically I've got two PCs. I've got one desktop tower PC on the right and as you can see on the left hand side here, this is my GMK Tech Evo X2 mini PC. Well, if you're one of those power users where you have two PCs, but you only have a single set of keyboard and a single mouse, and you want to be able to use both of these peripherals as well as a single display with two different computers, well, how do you solve that problem? So enter the TE Smart. This is the DSK202 uh, 4K dock here with the dual display out capability. So what this device basically does, you know, first of all, let's talk about what this is. This is a KVM switch and KVM stands for keyboard, video, and mouse. That means you're able to share a set of mouse, keyboard, and a display with up to two different PCs. And just as a quick disclaimer, this was sent to me for review by TE Smart, and they asked me to take a look at this device. I'm really happy to do so. This is actually something that I had been needing in my daily setup, so it's nice, and it came at just the right time here as we head into the holiday season. All right, now, of course, you know, nonetheless, all of the opinions you'll find in this video are entirely my own, and nobody has had editorial review of any content herein. So that said, if you do like my content, please click the like button, click subscribe, and click that notification bell, so you're the first to know when there's new content available here. And of course, if you want to help support the channel, give us a tip using the coffee link in the description below. It's a small gesture, but it goes a long way to help independent creators such as myself. All right, now let's first talk about this. What is a KVM switch? Well, if you're like me and you're a power user, you have maybe one set of keyboard, a singular mouse, and a singular display. So in this case, you've got two PCs. I've got a desktop PC here, and I've got my GMK Tech Evo X2 mini PC over on the left-hand side. Well, how can I share these three peripherals with one uh, you know, set uh, one set of peripherals with two PCs. This is exactly where a KVM switch comes in. And a KVM switch basically stands for keyboard video mouse switch. So this allows you to connect a singular set of peripherals such as a keyboard, a mouse, and a display. And of course with that you can connect up to two different PCs and it will actually output to those, uh, you know, output, it will allow you to switch excuse me, between the output of those PCs to the actual display and allow you to use those peripherals with it. Now looking around this device here, it's you know, made of plastic, but it's a pretty decent construction. Consider that this will most of the time just kind of sit tucked away under your desk there. It's not really going to be taking up a lot of real estate and that means it allows you to have a lot of freedom here with the way you set up your desk. It's not going to encumber you at all whatsoever, but it'll give you that capability of switching between the two different systems almost on the fly. So first and foremost, we get an instruction manual. Let's talk about all the cabling that's provided with this device to get connected. So we get here a set of DisplayPort cables. These will be for the output. A set of DisplayPort cables. These will be for the input potentially. So you could have up to, uh, you know, two display setup, but they've provided cabling sufficient for one display here. We get two USB 3.0 cables. So you could use these to connect uh, as an uplink to your PC. We get a power adapter in the box here. So this is just a typical barrel plug. I believe this is something around 12 volts. Yeah, 12 volts and two apps. And we also get a very nice handy remote control. So if you're not one to kind of reach out or if you've tucked it away in the desk or in the corner of your table and you want to be able to easily switch, you do have a handy remote control here that you could use to toggle between the different inputs and of course all of the different selections on your KVM switch. If we look at the back here, we'll see that there are some connections. So you see here that there is a set of connections for PC1 and a set of connections for another PC. So what these allow you to do is uplink the USB, t USB port uh, and also up to two uh, monitors or two displays on this particular model here. So you can have up to two display port outputs connected at the same time. A dual monitor setup essentially that can be shared between two different PCs. We also get some additional ports here to kind of help us round out the selection here. We also get an Ethernet port. We also have a uh, service port here for IR blaster or other sort of functionality. We have two USB type 3 ports on the front. These are five, five gigabits per second USB 3.2 speeds. And we have two USB 2.0 ports here to connect, say, you know, a dongle for your mouse or for your wireless keyboard. So you can connect that on the front. And then simply by toggling this button here, you can switch between the two different inputs and route all of the connected peripherals, including a display, to a particular PC. 
All right, now that I've got power to this device here, let's get everything connected to this and we'll show you how the actual KVM switch operates. So what I've done here, and it's a little bit messy I know because there's a lot of cabling, so cable management will be required after this has all been connected, but I have one USB cable here from my mini PC and I have another USB cable here from my desktop PC. So we'll take the TE Smart, we'll flip it around back, and we'll see here that this one is for PC1, so let's call this one PC1, give it an uplink. And we'll call this one the mini PC, PC2. So we'll give this a connection here. So give an uplink. Now we need to connect the video connections next. So for this one here, for my mini PC, I've got a display port cable. I'm only going to use a single uh, monitor for this demonstration. But as I mentioned, keep in mind that this particular model of KVM switch actually supports two particular outputs. So once we've got this connected here, and this is the output cable for the monitor. So we'll plug this into output one. I now have my GMK Tech Evo X2 Mini PC turned on. I also have my desktop power PC turned on as well. So I've got one set of keyboard, uh, one mouse, and one display here connected. So as you can see here, this one is running a different operating system. So this is Ubuntu. One press of the button, and you can see here that it works across Windows and uh, Linux as well. There's no issue. So all of a sudden now, I can see here that my mouse just basically returns to the screen. It's very quick. You know, it's just a quick toggle of the button, and you're actually operating between two different operating systems. So I think this is a very great utility to have. All right, so now that we have everything connected, let's say we're doing a little bit of work. We're being productive here. I just want to show you guys that both the keyboard, mouse, display, or actually all of the keyboard, mouse, display, and of course the speed that I've connected here to the microphone headphone jack here are actually being powered by uh, the dock here and allows me to switch. So this is in Windows currently. And I'm I hope you can hear that. You're getting uh, the audio as well as, uh, you know, the current connections here for the peripherals, both mouse, keyboard, and display are working. And if I just pause for a second there, we'll flip over here and we'll go over now to our Linux setup. So here you can see I was playing full screen video. And you can notice here that the video is playing and we're also getting audio from the uh, device as well. So, and continuing the utilitarian nature of this particular device here, you also have a handy remote. So if you're lazy like me, just read for the remote here, press the button and we're able to toggle back and forth between your inputs and your connected peripherals. So very handy device. The DKS202 has a lot of versatility, as I mentioned earlier. It has a lot of different connections and ports to get you that dual setup. But I think what's more interesting here is though it does support up to 8K60 on two monitors that are connected as display devices, uh, you can actually use this with gaming monitors. What's really cool about this is that it has pass-through of dual displays at 4K up to 144 Hz. So that means you have a really high resolution monitors with gaming support, with G-Sync support, FreeSync support. You're going to get all of those goodies uh, with the displays that you connect to this particular device. So it's actually going to be fantastic. You're going to get not only high resolution, you're also going to get a high refresh rate. So you can leave this connected, whether, you've got, whether you've got your gaming monitor connected, your work monitor connected, an OLED panel that you use for video editing and content creation or whatnot, you'll have all of those bases covered. And of course, there is also an option here because in certain scenarios, you may want to use, if you have dual displays, you may want to use one display for one PC, another display for another PC, perhaps just for a short period of time, when you look, need to look at data or cross-reference things that is also possible here with this device you can certainly do that in a split kind of PC usage, use, usage mode a few other highlights here to point out with TE smart they don't just make this particular dock as I mentioned they make a variety of different docks here and they've been in this business for a long time so the, mo the model I'm using here that I'm reviewing is DKS202 this one supports up to dual display output with two different PCs of course they have also additional devices here where you can have two PCs and three monitors or two PCs and two monitors they have HDMI outputs, they have DisplayPort output combinations, so you can get a different sets of that. And you can even get two PCs with three different displays, including HDMI and DisplayPort outputs here. So if you need a variety of different connections, make sure to go onto their website and to take a look at the different, uh, you know, different variations of these particular KVM switches that they do have on offer here. So, and of course, if you're a TruePower user, you want to understand that there's keyboard shortcuts. And of course, the DE Smart has built-in keyboard shortcuts here. By default, it uses the right control key on your keyboard. However, I've customized this to use a different key. I'm using the print screen key here. So you'll just double tap on your print screen key and press page up or page down to toggle between the two different sources here. So let's just demonstrate that. 
tap this, we'll press page down, it'll switch us into input two here. Now we're connected to my mini PC. Again, double tap and page up here on the scroll lock key, and we'll get back to our first connected input here. So you don't even need actually to use the remote or even reach for touching this button on the device itself. If you're a true keyboard warrior, you can get everything done as a power user here from your keyboard. And of course, all of these shortcuts are customizable. There's additional shortcuts for the LED uh, RGB light here as well. So we'll demonstrate that in just a moment but just keep in mind that all of these shortcuts are documented well in the in the manual and it also walks you through a very simple process how you can customize these shortcuts so if for whatever reason you have a conflict with some key on your keyboard or you have some other keyboard you know shortcuts mapped you can always go in here follow the steps and remap those shortcuts. Now, in order to adjust the lighting on this particular device here, so what you can do again is press our shortcut key, we'll press L and then between 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4, uh, 0, 1 and 2 and 3 will give us four different types of lighting modes here. So let's demonstrate that here quickly. So L and we'll do two here. So this is by default what we're running right now. And you can see here the color scheme has changed now and it's going kind of a rainbow uh, between the different actual colors here. So it's getting a more of a rainbow effect. We'll repeat it again here, and if we swap it to one, it goes into this mode, which is off. Swap it to three, and we get this color here, kind of a you know red, uh, kind of a uh, pulsing uh, style here. And then finally, the last one here will give you this effect here, where you're getting a rainbow kind of scrolling across the actual bottom of the device itself. So then, to conclude, what I what are my thoughts here on the TE Smart uh, D? Uh, KS202 here, dual monitor, uh, two PC KVM switch here. I think this is a fantastic device. It gives so much utility that just having set this up for the last few, for the last few days on my desk here, it's completely changed my workflow. Now I'm able to toggle between two different PCs. For example, if I'm using my PC, my desktop PC with my 5070 Ti for some video editing, I can quickly swap over and do some content creation or some writing and preparation for the next video on my mini PC here, or just kind of surf, see what's going Going on, answer some comments on my YouTube channel, so on and so forth. So it's given me a lot of flexibility without having to necessarily connect to wires and cables or having two sets of mice and keyboard on my desk, which would be really, really cumbersome. So this has really solved an essential need, I believe, in today's day and age. And if you are a user who is a pro user, you have two PCs now. Keep in mind this works across Mac, Windows, and Linux. So no matter what operating system you have, this is a device you can definitely benefit from. So if you have two PCs, Mac, Windows, Windows, Linux, Mac, Mac and Linux, you're going to need something like this to help control all of your devices unless you have a very large desk space and you can you know afford multiple monitors and multiple sets of peripherals you're gonna want to be tidy and try to keep everything under control of course a little bit of cable management is required here and we'll tend to that shortly but as you can see here this gives us a fantastic way to use a singular set of peripherals keyboard mouse and of course speakers as well in a singular display up to tool displays here are supported with two different PCs as always if you like my content please click the like button click subscribe and click that notification bell so you're the first to know when there's new content available here hope you enjoyed this video thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in